Crown of Thorns Sea Star is a coral predator. It's naturally occurring, but um, they are in outbreaking in uh, sort of plague numbers. We're seeing a lot of them around. So myself and my colleagues are getting a bit concerned. Coral is uh, an animal. It's a colony of tiny animals. And when it's getting eaten in this numbers, it can't really regenerate in time to keep the reefs healthy. Now, Crown of Thorns are a naturally occurring predator. However, due to poor water quality and also a removal of their their predators, things like the the Maori wrasse and the Triton conch, the Triton snail, um, is encouraging them to breed out of control. So what we're seeing is a lot of impact on the reef, a lot of dead coral, a lot of white coral, which is not actually bleaching. Uh, bleaching is still live coral, but predated coral, eaten coral, is stripped of all tissue back to the bare limestone skeleton. Are they in small areas or is it vast expanses? Over groups of islands we're noticing it in, in vast expanses. Some of our actual dive sites when you jump in you might have noticed uh, you can see white spots everywhere and it's almost like a wall of them marching along the reef so what we're trying to do is stem the tide I guess, sort of stop them from encroaching any further into any of the other healthy reefs. Now you've been working with scientists uh, at, in Queensland, in Bali, around the South Pacific. What are you trying to do? The method we use, we take down a pack of uh, syringes full of uh, vinegar, household vinegar, about 5% acetic acid, and we inject those across the sea star's body into the polyan vesicle, which uh, sort of distributes the water for its hydrovascular system, keeps it moving. So this will allow the vinegar to get throughout its body. Within about 24 to 48 hours, the sea star should have died, and it won't impact the environment around it. Fish can eat them and it won't be of any detriment to them. They've done a lot of research into this as well. What we hope to do, one is to remove as many of the costs as we can and keep their populations down in a controlled number, but two, also leaving them there hoping that other fish will see them as a food source and hopefully that will then take over from us in a later stage and that we won't need to continue this action as the, the natural fish life will start balancing out their populations for What us. sort of success rate are you having with actually injecting the sea stars? Can you go back 24 hours later and notice the difference that that sea stars did? It's still very new for us doing this, only a few months, um, but there are areas where we have been hitting quite hard and noticing that a lot of corals that were slowly being digested, slowly being eaten, are still alive and there are no longer cots around them. So we're starting to save a few patches and we're hoping to continue spreading this out.